I'm an archaeologist, so I was trained to learn about ancient societies by digging up, sorting through, and analyzing ancient garbage. Professor Bill Rathje isn't just talking trash, he's digging it. We're trying to look at today's society the way an archaeologist will in a thousand years without waiting that long. All of the daily aspects of our lives, what we eat, how we clean, how we have a good time, it's all buried in here. People think I'm nuts. This is the heart and pulse of America, right here. Nowhere else. This is where it all ends up. Feeling that heartbeat is why Rath G helped start the University of Arizona's Garbage Project in 1973. These garbologists perform large-scale excavations at landfills across the country. A special machine is used to bore down 100 feet into the trash heap to pull out piles of old garbage. Team members sort and sift through the waste, bag it, tag it, then categorize it. The weight is 16 ounces solid, brand is armor. The deeper the digging, the older the trash. It'd be nice if we could get a good date right off. Coupon void after October 13th, 1963. We're getting a good cross section of what's in the landfill so that we can get a good idea of what was thrown in when and what's happening to it. You might expect food products to break down and magically disappear. Rubbish, says Rathji. A lot of people believe when you throw paper and food debris and yard waste into a landfill, it will biodegrade and disappear. And that just doesn't happen. Food debris and yard waste, about 50% of it will biodegrade in the first 15 years. And then it stabilizes. But the rest of the garbage that makes up a landfill isn't going anywhere for a very long time. As far as we know, there's no real significant difference in how long it's going to take paper or styrofoam or plastic of any kind to decompose. A lot of people think that landfills are being filled up by fast food packaging, styrofoam, and disposable diapers. But paper is a recyclable material, yet it accounts for 16 times more volume than the total amount of those so-called environmental bad guys. Translation, too much paper is being trashed. One of the most interesting things to me is that when you study the packaging and the food remains and the recyclables at a landfill, it tells you a different story about us than when you ask people what they eat and drink, what they recycle, what they throw away. And that's because we like to think that we're recycling everything. We like to think that we're doing the right things. You get the reality here at a landfill. And the reality is we need to do a better job recycling. A phone book. Look at this, the archeological record of a lost civilization. Lost? Not yet. These remnants tell the tale not only where we've been, but also where we're headed. We're in what archaeologists call a classic period. That means we're at, we're at our peak. Everything's going great for us. Resources are pouring in, and we're wasting them at an incredible rate. Sooner or later, the resources dry up, and eventually they collapse. This is not a gloom and doom perspective. This is a perspective based on studying hundreds of civilizations that have come before us. They've all gone through the same cycle. We should definitely learn from the past. We can make our cycle better and more fun to be in by knowing a lot about how to create less garbage.